Hello everybody! I promised you in my last video when I showed you how to make your own overall um, that I would show you how to make a little slit in a, in a trousers, in a, a skirt, in any item how you'd like to do it. So I've chosen for today some trousers of mine which I like to shorten to capri trousers and have on the side, on the side seam, their little slit as set. Here you see my trousers in the full length and I'm going to shorten them, as I said, to a capri trousers. So first of all I measured already on some finished trousers that I have, which lengths I want. And I measured not the outside, the side of the trousers, I measured the inside. Because it is important if you measure this side, you don't know how high your waist is on those trousers. And that's, that's why there could be a big difference. That's why I'm measuring in the inside. I measured 45 centimeters, but as I want this slit to be, when it's finished, 5 centimeters, and I need a seam to fold over, I added another 9 centimeters. So, 45, I want them to be when they're finished. And I add 9 centimeters, so I get to a length of 54 centimeters. I mark this here already. And then for the other side to mark for the cut off, it is best you measure now towards the end, which I got 18 centimeters. I take that over here, I put I make a mark on 18 centimeters and I just put them together and I know exactly that's where I want to cut them off. And I do the same on the other leg and I will open the trousers up a little bit on the sides, cut it off and I continue with you after I've done that. As you can see I cut the trousers to the lengths that I marked it. Then I opened both of my sides up about 16-17 centimeters because it's much easier to work when the other side, although we're actually not doing anything with the other side, but it's easier to work when it's open. As you know from your trousers, usually they go much smaller towards the bottom, towards the foot, and they go wider and wider towards the hips. Now I wanted them slightly tighter anyway on my hip, and another reason is that this slit that I'm going to make here is much easier to make when it's a similar width. You can see this when I fold this up. Now my new tight uh, seam that I made comes in the same position as this old seam from the trousers are from down there. So I just uh, made another seam to make them tighter for me. And I've been to my ironing board, as you can see. I ironed one centimeter on both parts over and another eight centimeters over. The slit I decided just that I'm going to make it six centimeters and not five centimeters. You see the reason in a moment. So I suggest after you've ironed this over very even and equal, you make yourself a little cut here in both parts that you have the same length for your slit. Now it doesn't matter which one you start with, there where you got your cut in, you fold this over on the right sides together and you check it where your um, edges that you ironed because now you can see if I put it in the edge it automatically wants to go to the, the new seam that I have here. If I would pull it over to this edge, it wouldn't match the new seam that I made. So, look over to your other side again there. Look where you made this little cut, where you want to start sewing. And now mark a length of 6 centimeters, which should be the slit that you're going to make. And I'm looking for my seam that I have here, the new one that I done 
and in that direction I got a stitch but of course I stuck at my mark that I have there because that will be the length. Now we do exactly the same on this side. You lie it down here where you got your cut. You look for that new seam that you got up there and as well for your ironing down here so it goes sideways there, that's correct. You mark the six centimeters for your slit and you just close this short seam, this short part. There you can actually now see exactly how they will come together. So first of all I fold it this way as I got to close this little part of the seam that I got there. That they will meet somewhere there together. There. And now I close this leftover part that I have here. You can check it here in the inside that you're even with this. Now you just fold it over and close that part. Then you turn it inside out or outs outside, outside out. <laughs> you push the corners out nicely and you check that they have the same lengths, both of them. Now you see that it's so much easier to work when this other side of the trousers is also opened. If that would be closed now, you really have a problem getting into it. That's no fun. And this seam is already ironed over as well. And the reason why I did this inside uh, seam so big and so wide is when I wear those trousers, I can always decide if I like to fold them over while, while wearing them. If I would only have a little bit of a facing behind uh, the slit or just a three centimeter seam here on the bottom, I couldn't do that. It wouldn't look nice as this is a print on, on these jeans material and not a all the way through um, design. Uh, I wouldn't like that. So now I just have to go on my safety machine because I want to close the seam again on the other side and as well it's got to be finished off slightly. That's closed and this one I also have to cut off because I made them uh, a bit smaller as I told you. I've been on my overlock machine and finished off the seams inside that were either too wide that I had to cut off or that I opened up because of the other side and I turned my trousers to the proper side. Now you probably tend on starting doing your seam where you have your little slit but I suggest rather do it on the inside of your trousers on the inside seam of your trousers. You can of course put some pins in for yourself first but I show you how I do it anyway. It's a bit tight now as it's all closed up. That was the reason earlier on why I did open this side to have it easy working for this slit. So I ironed this over before as I showed you and told you and I'm watching out for my ironed over button here. And I just start to hold it there in position. Now I go on the inside, push my ironed over edge over, watching this end at the same time that it's really flat lying there. And I just go once all the way around my seam here. looking towards the next seam which I have here. Putting it flat at the same time, always important. 
seam on seam in this position and you continue doing the same going all the way around. Before you get to the end, look ahead, always look ahead where you got to go to. And as you maybe noticed in the beginning, I didn't do a back and forward stitching because it always looks much, much tidier if you just stitch a couple of stitches over this particular one now. Just like that. Then you clean off this and it's quite tidy there. So this one is finished. You can, if you wish, also stitch around your slit, which I didn't want to do. And the reason now I'm telling you why I did such a wide seam inside is the reason that I can wear these Capri trousers either the way they are now or I can also just fold them up once. Makes them a bit shorter, gives them a total different look if that is flopped over like that. And you also have the possibility of maybe stitching with a little opening uh, on each side a little button. Gives it a totally different look. I got one pair made like that and it really is nice. The other side I've done already, so i show you. Now here we go with both of my slits for my new pair of trousers. I hope you enjoyed this little video and try to do a similar thing to some old trousers of yours that you don't like to throw away, but do something new with them. Have fun and thanks for watching.